How's it going guys? My name is Roy Chesniki and welcome back to part 3 of Super Brother Sword and Sorcery. Hmm. Here is one. Yes. So we can start the song. Where is the other? Wait. Oh, the sheep. Triangle? Two ships. Can we connect them? No. Maybe in the correct order. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we figured it out. Oh, we just woke a somber exilian sprite from the rich earth of meadow containing four pairs of wor worthless sheep hi doggy would would you like me to follow you hmm we can vividly remember how awesome the sun walked on the particular early spring day all right doggy follow uh, i will follow you What? Why here? I don't understand. Right, one was in the middle, one was in the pond. And where was the third one? A nest? Where is a nest? Was it one of the houses? The nest? Nest box. Remember some? Here maybe? Yes. Right. What now? The butterflies? Or the leaves? Yes! Woohoo! We did it! We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box surrounded by three rain-soaked songbirds. 
So those were birds. What? Who was that? Let's see the Megaton. Bright moon in one day. Bark, 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 bark. I've seen the Skitian sing a song of sorcery and sent three Sylvans prime skyward. I wonder if they will help with the storm. Alright, let's return to the house then, I guess. But I wanna check. No, alright, doggy, I will follow you. Hmm. Let's go in the house again. Oh, wait! The girl. The girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had left the comfort of the herd in the hut because apparently Lockfellow was freaking out about something or other. Lockfellow, are you alright? What is wrong? What are you worried about? The woeful woodsman known as Lockfellow was totally freaking out about something. Apparently Lockfella had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to Minjito. We were like grown, not another fetch quest, am I right? Lockfella told us the told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Lockfella said he thought he had lost his key in the twilight realm of dreams. We had heard about the strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk of the Caucasus, so this made perfect sense to us. Lockfellow invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. Alright. Let us dream. Megaton. Oh nuts! Where has my key gone? I'm so upset and ashamed, so now I'm totally freaking out. Seek a warm heart and allow sleep to come to discover the threshold of liminality. What? I guess we'll have to sleep. Here maybe. Side A Side B What? Dream I think we just enter an entered another realm Do we have some clues? No let us adventure then and discover some stuff. A bear? A bunny. Alright bunny, observe. Hmm. Wait a second. What's in here? Oh, it's the... It's the elk that we saw on the disc. Alright. Is this a bird? What is this? A mushroom? I sure hope the dreamwalking skittian can find my lost key. I lost it on the sandy shore of a placid lake. But what about this key? Or mushroom? Hmm. Alright. What 
Why are you scared, Mr. Bear? Hmm, let's take another mushroom. Alright. Let's follow him. Hmm. Alright. Let's continue to follow him. Wait. He isn't here. Oh wait, that's is th that is the key, right? On the shore. Yes. Right. Let us return then. Oh wait. Where? What? A chair. Hmm. Are we going back to the other realm? Side B? Side A? Yes. We should be going back to the Wokfella's hut. The woodsman was super relieved that he had managed to retrieve his lost key from the twilight realm of dreams. The woodsman known as Lockfellow wondered how we got so smart and he asked about our woeful errand. We told the woodsman how we had come of age on the steps alongside our fearless Kitian sisters and brothers. We told Lockfellow why we wandered here in this mountain wilderness and how we were guided by the cursor of an all-knowing god. <laughs> we told Wokfell about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the Megaton might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more Sylvan sprites to suit the storm. In a hushed whisper we spoke of a intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Wokfella had stopped paying attention. <laughs> we figured we could just hang on to the key and go for a walk on the old road beyond the stone wall. Alright. I asked the Skitian point blank about her woeful errand. She started talking about the steps and the cursor of God. Yeah. So let us go to the old road. We have the key now. Huh. I hope that we don't encounter the... The... Deathless... Spectre. Right, doggy. Oh wait, the girl. Hmm. What are you doing here? We met the dark-haired girl standing rain-soaked on a side path. She had heard the subtle, sonorous sperms of the Sylvan sprites from beyond the stone wall on the old road to Minji Tau. She spoke of towering tree trunks on either side of a mighty river. She spoke of, of, of faint rainbows at the edge of the perilous precipice. And then she grew fearful and told us to consult the Megaton if we became lost or confused. Um, alright. Oh, mighty Megaton, show us what it is hidden from us. Nothing. Alright. Then let us go to the old road. I'm not sure, but if I hold like that, I might be going faster. Alright. We opened. Is the wolf here? Yes. He came back. For revenge. 
bring it on. That was fast. Ow. Right. That was a tougher fight than the first wolf battle. Let us continue. Hmm, it's quite windy. Oh, look. Megatom. What do you want to tell us? One or two more Sylvan Sprints and Skyward will suit the ceaseless storm and then it will be a time of miracles. Alright, let's help this sprite then. What now? Tap, hold, and swipe on sorcery. A real? What? I don't understand. This? Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Once you have begun a song of sorcery, you can ever so gently touch the edge of the screen to walk around or use the arrow keys. I don't understand what I must do. Tap, hold here, and swipe where? To the moon? Alright, so we had to... And... had no idea all right we just walk a slumbering sylvan sprite beside a stolid log bridge where four pairs of trees ta of trees tower above a river I should I should have remembered the hint with the trees next to the river right dramatic music Thank you for watching this part 3 of Sword and Sorcery guys and until next time stay righteous Uh sir you might want to come look at this I'm getting chaos readings at 10.6 it's coming from the museum Huh my god it's over 9 <laughs> 9000 <000? laughs> Yeah <laughs> I'm leaving this decision up to you corporate
Mm. Just hit one of those buttons to deal with this pressing situation. Who's watching? <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs>